guys, it's Talking Wrestling TV in with your Friday Night Smackdown review. And I'm not about to review this damn whole show, guys. I'm just about to talk about the crap that went on in the opening segment and the last segment that has really just set the internet on fire, guys. First off, last night's super shit down, we had to witness the squashing of the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Goldberg come out tonight on SmackDown with the title to a lot of booze, guys. Well-deserved booze. I'm glad the fans in Boston literally booed the hell out of Goldberg because that's exactly what he deserved for squashing Bray Wyatt last night. Now, he come out and simply say, it's not who's last, it's who's next, and then that's when we get Roman Reigns. A few minutes later go by on the show, it be announced that in five weeks it's gonna be Goldberg and Roman Reigns with no bill. Roman Reigns don't have to win no match, no elimination chamber match, no ladder match, no another steel cage match, no match. He just giving a down title match at WrestleMania. And that's bullshit guys. WWE, you fucked up big tonight. I hope at WrestleMania the fans in Tampa Bay shit all over this matchup, guys. Because you waste the Fiend Bray Wyatt for this. Roman Reigns has been put in a universal title match and haven't done a damn thing but beat up on Baron Corbin to deserve a title match. Horrible booking. Just when you thought WWE was on the way to do nice things for the company and for us fans, they shit on us like this, guys. And not to top it all off, we get John Cena with that bullshit ass promo he did in the night talking about he's gonna do it for the future he's not gonna be a part of WrestleMania all this bullshit crap we all knew that The Fiend was coming out and then look what you had The Fiend do point to the damn WrestleMania sign that man lost the title just to face John Cena at WrestleMania this has been a horrible past 24 hours for WWE fans, guys, especially you Bray Wyatt fans. What WWE has done is pretty much just prove that they don't have no confidence in the new breed and the new up and coming superstars on the main roster. They can't. Pushing part timers like Goldberg and John Cena just don't make any damn sense at all. They couldn't have pulled this off anywhere else but in Boston simply because this is John Cena's hometown. But guys, this doesn't sit well with me. Russell Manning was looking like it was going to be a good show. But now, we looking like we're going to have Super Shit Down Part 3. This might as well be Super Shit Manning. Because that's exactly what it's shaping up to be. Guys, that's my thoughts on what we just witnessed tonight. I'm not going over nothing else on this damn show. Because all this that happened tonight just still doesn't sit well with me. And I'm pretty sure it don't sit well with you guys either. It's Talking Wrestling TV. Please be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, guys. I'm out.